Hello guys, my name is Brett. My company name is Wild Main Cards and Things. I am a new seller on eBay as well as getting into the YouTube side of things. Currently I have up for sale a uh, 12 excuse me, packs of Modern Masters 2017 edition. As you can see, that is what we have in here today. The other 12 packs I'm going to actually crack right now. I just want to show you guys that it is Steel Factory sealed. Obviously you can still see the Wizards of the Coast there. Let's get started here. Just going to very carefully open this up. All right, in the seal here. I'm trying to be very, very careful because I don't want to damage anything by accident. And I definitely don't want to damage the box. Box to me is a collector's item. Might not seem so right now. However, as you can see, over here really quickly, sorry for the chair noises here. I still have the Modern Masters original booster box here. It is unfortunately empty, but just the box itself looks cool as hell, so I kept that. So that's why I like to keep these boxes nice and clean. Ooh, does not want to open very nicely. My knife here. There we go. There we go. And I put my knife away. Safety first. Okay, so we got her open now. We're gonna see what she looks like. Oh, right off the top. Okay, so as I said, I have 12 packs up for sale currently on eBay out of this box. Right now, I am going to pull out the 12 packs. We're gonna do that random, so I'm not just gonna go right from the top. We're gonna do it at random. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go one from the top for me, one from the top for our buyers. So we're gonna go one for our buyers, one for me. 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 One for our buyers, another for me. And another for our buyers. How about another for me? Uh, let's go for another for me, another for our buyers. Me, buyers. Buyers, me. I keep not touching this one. Let's go with uh, me, buyers, me, buyers, me, buyers. Now, I may have screwed that up because I kind of went back and forth a bunch. I'm just going to count here really quick. I have three, six, nine, twelve. And just going to double check because why not? Three, six, nine, twelve. So as I said, these guys are going to go to the buyers. Uh, the buyers hopefully will be able to see this video and know that that's good. I'm just going to put them right back in the box for the time being. And that way, when the time comes up, we can give those up to the buyers. Alrighty. Get in there. Oh, do that. There we go. Leave that guy right there. Let's see him. All right, so we got 12 packs here. We're gonna crack those open and hope for some big rares. All right, so pack number one, here we go. I'm gonna be very gentle about it. I'm not gonna go through all the commons and all the uncommons and the rares. I'm just going to skip right back to the rares. I will flip through so you guys can see what we got on the common side. I'm hoping my camera's picking this up. Unfortunately, I cannot see it right now. And we're on our first uncommon here. It looks like Golgari Germination. Whenever a non-token creature you control dies, create a 1-1 one, one green separately to creature token. For one, a black, and a green. It's actually a really good card. I really like that a lot. Um, I can definitely see that in a booster draft being really popular. All right. Uh, our next one is going to be Seaside Citadel. Seaside Citadel enters the battlefield tapped. Tap one green, one white, or one blue to and add to your mana pool. Excuse me. It's actually a very good land. I like that a lot. Morai. Flying. At the beginning of your upkeep, you lose one life. Uh, it's not not the greatest, but it is a flying vampire for with a 4-4 four, four, for a 4 cost. It's really not that bad, a flying evasion. 
We're going to go into our next one here. Cavern of Souls. That's a big pull. I like that a lot. Oh, and we got a Wing Crafter. Wing Crafter foil. And our token is a Goblin. I'm going to leave our tokens over here in, our, in its own pile. We got our uncommons, our commons. I'm going to leave our rares out in plain view so you can see that. And our foils are going to be just below them right there. I'll leave this box just a little further back. There we go. All right, let's go on to our second pack. Move into the second pack here. Our camera is not going to focus. Said I'm not going to hold on to all the commons. Brain tree emissary. I remember that card. Magma jet. Ogre jailbreaker. Hungry supper. And coming up to our first uncommon wayfaring temple. Unfortunately, uh, as much as this card seems like it'd be really good, it really never played that much, um, as far as I knew it. Uh, Wayfaring temper, uh, Temple's power and toughness are each equal to the number of creatures you control. Whatever Wayfaring Temple deals the combat damage to a player, populate. So it can be really, really strong, however, I just never saw it see play. Uh, that's going to be part of our uncommon pile here. Crumbling Necropolis. Crumbling Necropolis enters the battlefield. Tap, tap, add blue, black, or red to your mana pool. Not too bad. Wooly, I'm going to say this all wrong, Thoktar. Uh, it's just a creature. It looks like it is a red, green, white for, well, for a 5 4 beast. And our rare is Aether Mage's Touch. Uh, two, white, blue, instant. Reveal the top four cards of your library. You may put a creature card from among them into the battlefield. It gains at the beginning of your end step. Return this creature to its owner's hand. Then put the rest of the cards revealed this way to the bottom of your library in any order. Actually, I like that. I'm going to put that with our rares over here. Sylvan Ranger foil, not too special. Oh, a dragon token. Okay, let's go on to the next pack, guys. Moving on to the next pack here. I'm going to start cracking that up. Let me know in the comments if you guys are liking what I'm doing here, if you have any recommendations on how to do this a little better for your viewing pleasure. It's all going to be about your guys' viewing pleasure here. Red and Alchemy, Chandra's Outrage, Gideon's Lawkeeper, Pilford Plans, Gnawing Zombie, Strength in Numbers, Mystic Techniques, Scorched Recipula? I'm not sure if I'm saying that. Rizalka, maybe. Soul Warden, Ghostly Flicker, and first uncommon is Thundersong Trumpeter. Top target creature can't attack or block this turn. It's a 2 1 for red and a white. Boros combination. That's actually, I like that card a lot. Ancient Grudge. I remember this card from a lot of different sets. One in a red, instant destroy target artifact, flashback for green. I like that a lot, actually. And we're going to have a Sunhome Guild Mage. It is a red and a white for, the, for a creature. It's a 2 2. It's got two abilities a one red and white creatures you control get plus one plus O oh until end of turn. Or the second ability, two red and a white for create a 1-1 one, one red white creature soldier token with, that has haste. I actually like that a lot as well, especially in um, some kind of uh, a booster draft set. That would be a lot of fun, or even your pre-release set. That would be a lot of fun. And our rare is going to be a Broodmate Dragon. If I'm not mistaken, I actually have one of these uh, lying around here. Um, I believe it's a foil alternate art version. Um, but it is a dragon creature flying. When Broodmate Dragon enters the battlefield, create a 4-4 red dragon creature token with flying. It is a 4-4 for three black and a red and a green. And our rare is Banishing Stroke, five and a white. Let me go put that down here. Five and a white, instant. Put target cre artifact creature or enchantment on the bottom of its owner's library. Miracle for one. And we have a goblin token. Let's slide these guys over really quick. So far, I'm liking the Cavern of Souls best. Uh, I think you guys might know why there. So move the packs off the side here so you guys can see everything all at once. Okay, next pack. We have a Talon Trooper. A Penera, ah, Penumbra Spider, excuse me. Ooh, Sky Knight Legionnaire. I remember this card, I believe, from, um, oh, what was this? Gate Crash, I think it was. Correct me if I'm wrong, though, you comments, guys. We're also looking at a 
Dinrova Horror, uh, Mortrician Beetle, Druid's Deliverance, Pit Keeper, Thunderous Wraith, Wrath, excuse me, Wrath, Thunderous Wrath, Graceful Reprieve, Spire Monitor, Simic, Sig excuse me, Simic Signet, and our, oh, excuse me, that was our first uncommon. I went right past that. Simic Signet, sig ah, Simic Signet, there you go. Two for an artifact. One tap, add green or blue, or excuse me, green and blue to your mana pool. Ooh, I like that a lot. It's actually better than the, um, I believe, it, is it the Keystones guys that adds mana? No, I don't think it's Keystone. There's another one that adds mana um, from Return to Raven, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let me know which one that is in the comments. I can't remember off the top of my head. Jesus. Um, okay, so we're going to let that one go to the side here. Ooh. Our second uncommon is Molten Rain. One for, what's he mean? One red and red for sorcery. Destroy target land. If that land was non basic, Molten Rain deals two damage to the land's owner. Excuse me, controller. Very, very good. And last one, Terminate. Oh, I love this card. It's a black and a red instant. Destroy target creature. It can't be regenerated. One of my favorite cards. I used to run a red and black um, haste deck that uh, ran Terminates all the time, and it was a lot of fun. And our rare, Summoning Trap. We have four green, green, instant. It's also a trap card. If a creature spell you cast this turn was countered by a spell or ability an opponent controlled, you may pay zero rather than pay summoning traps mana cost. Look at the top seven cards of your library. You may put a creature card from among them onto the battlefield, but the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. Ooh, that sounds so good right now, especially if you're playing these controlled ones. Maybe a good sideboard card. That's our rare, and our foil is a bone splinters. For a black, it is a sorcery. Uh, as an additional cost of bone splinters, sacrifice a creature, destroy tar target creature. For a um, maybe a black uh, black red deck, or even just a black uh, haste deck, zombie deck, this seems like it'd be really good, especially if you have zombies that come back from the deed. Oh, it looks like this one came with a. Uh, if you notice that there, guys, right in the corner up here, it came with a dent in it. I don't like that at all, but what can you do, right? It came out of the box that way. All right, I'll leave that right there. And our creature token is a bird. On to our fifth pack. I'm gonna start skipping through these a little bit here. And our pile start to mess up here. Just clean that up a little bit, make it easier later. There we go. And our first uncommon, we have Gore Clan Rampager. Oh, I also love this card very much. Gore Clan Rampager 2, red and green. Creature Beast, Trample. It has Blood Rush for a green and a red. Uh, discard Gore Clan Rampager from your hand. I, I want to make sure that's clear. From your hand, target attacking creature gets plus four, plus four, and gains Trample until the end of turn. If you pay the two red and green, it comes in as a four, four. like that card a lot. Vithian Stinger, two and a red, it's a creature, human, shaman. Uh, tap, Vivian, or excuse me, Vithian Stinger deals one damage to target creature or player. It has Unearth for one and a red. Uh, return this card from your graveyard to the battlefield, it gains haste, exile, the beginning of your next end step. Um, it is a zero one creature, it looks like it is just a great uh, uh, straight up pin you for one damage uh, card. Type card. Uh, so great for sitting back, just tapping, doing damage. Opportunity is our, excuse me, is our next um, uncommon here, excuse me, losing my track of my thought here. Opportunity, four, blue, blue, instant, target player draws four cards. Ooh, that could be really, really strong, especially in a maybe mid or late game of a control deck. Um, I don't know if I'd necessarily run it because of the cost, uh, six is a lot, but in a pre-release type set scenario, it would be a very good card for a blue deck of some kind. And our rare, Deadeye Navigator. Um... I don't think this card's gone up any in value since I've had uh, X number of copies um, in my in my polls uh, way back in the day, uh, way back in the day, a couple years ago. Um, but Dead Eye Navigator is four blue and blue. It's a creature spirit, uh, soulbound. Pair this creature with another unpaired creature uh, when either enters the battlefield. They remain paired for as long as you control them both. As long as Dead Eye Navigator is paired with another creature. Each of those creatures has one in a blue, exile this creature, then return it to the battlefield under your control. And our foil, Pilfer Plans, one blue and black. 
It is a sorcery. Target player puts the top two cards of his or her library uh, into his or her graveyard. Draw two cards. Very nice. Bird token. Okay, I'm going to start gathering up our foils that we've already unco uncovered. Put them in a little pile so we can keep the rares out. I'd rather you guys see the rares than the foils. Unless we have a rare foil, and then I'll leave that out for sure. Moving on to the next pack. Looks like uh, after this one there is six more to go. Alright. And our first uncommon. Wall of Denial. One blue, white. Creature, wall, defender, flying, shroud. This creature cannot be the target of any spells or abilities. Um, that's a zero eight wall. I mean, in any scenario, as far as I can tell, a shrouded wall of denial would be phenomenal to have just to block everything. Um, you know, especially with shroud that is so big. So that is huge. I love that card a lot. Vital Splicer, three and a green creature, human artifact, artificer. Excuse me. Uh, when Vital Splicer comes, uh, excuse me, enters the battlefield, create a 3-3 three, three colorless golem artifact creature token. One regenerate target golem you control is a 3 and a green for a 1-1 one, one creature. And plus the 3-3 three, three colorless. So, I mean, it does come out. It does uh, give you an extra creature. That's pretty cool. And our last one, Lingering Souls. I love this card. Create two 1-1 one, one white spirit creature tokens with flying flashback of 1 to black. And obviously create another two tokens i've seen this card have so much play for so long it is such a great card i love this card a lot and getting to our rare voice of resurgence oh i love this card oh i just i just got rid of a couple of these on my um ebay page it is one of my favorite cards of all time uh green and white creature elemental whenever an opponent casts a spell during your turn or when voice of resurgence dies create a green and white elemental creature token with this creature's power and toughness are each equal to the number of creatures you control is a 2-2. Two, two. Oh, it's so strong. I love that card a lot. And our foil is Lone Missionary. It is a core monk creature, one in a white. When Lone Missionary enters the battlefield, you gain four life. It is a 2-1. And our creature token is a Sapperling. Opening the next pack here, guys. Already I can see that we've done very well on the packs that we've gotten. I hope that my buyers get just the same amount of luck. Moving through these pack, these uh, commons really quickly here. I can make this video too, too long. And our first uncommon is Azura Signet. So we have one tap, add a blue and a white to your mana pool is a two cost. We have Mystic Genesis, two green, blue, blue, uh, instant counter target spell, create an XX green ooze creature token where X is the spell's converted mana cost. Ooh, that seems very strong, uh, especially if you get into um, any kind of miracles, anything like that, uh, you can get some really, really big XXs in there. And our next one is Wing Splicer. Creature, human, artificer, three in the blue, when Wing Splicer enters the battlefield, create a three, three colorless golem, artifact, creature golem. Uh, golem creatures you control have flying. Ooh, you can make some really cool uh, golem decks if we combine it with the last one we just saw over there. Our rare is Blade Splicer, two and a white. Creature, human, artificer. When Blade Splicer enters the battlefield, create a 3-3 colorless golem artifact creature token. Golem creatures you control have first strike. Ooh, as I said, you know, if you start combining some of these cards, ooh, you can get some really big uh, golem decks going here. Our rare is a hungry uh, Spriggan. That's cool. Uh, creature, golem, uh, warrior, trample, whenever hungry, uh, spreading attacks, it gates plus three plus three until end of turn is a one, one for two and a green. We want our pile and our, we have a spider token. We're going to our next pack here. Okay, moving into our uncommons. Is it Signet? Tap, add blue and red for one. It is a two-coster artifact. 
Sin Collector. Oh, I remember this one as well. It's another great card. One white and a black creature human cleric for two one. When Sin Collector enters the battlefield, target opponent reveals his or her hand. You choose an instant or sorcery card from it and exile that card. Great, great for booster drafts. I love this card so much. I can remember so many white and black decks from the last sets that I've made using Sin Collector. Master Splicer for our last uncommon here, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we have three and a white creature, human artificer. When Master Splicer enters the battlefield, create a 3 3 colorless golem uh, artifact creature token. Golem creatures you control get plus one, plus one. It is a 1 1. And our rare is Nimizit Drag Draconic Genus. I have terrible uh, ability to say that, but I remember this card, if I'm not mistaken, from Return to Ravnica. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but. That's where I believe it is from. Um, it is two blue, blue, and a red, red. Uh, legendary creature, dragon wizard, flying, whatever, Nim is it, Dracon uh, Dra I'm going to have to say this, I'm going to have to go through it. Draco Genius deals damage to one, to a player. You may draw a card. Uh, blue and a red, Nim is it, uh, <laughs> just keep making me say it. Draco Genius deals one damage to target creature or player. It is a 5 5. And our rare, Boros Guild Gate. Not exactly worth anything, but that being said, that is uh, actually a really cool art. I don't know if you can see that. Um, just the, the gold is always really nice to see in foil. Uh, Burl's Guild Gate into the battlefield tap. Add red or white to your mana pool. Ooh, we have an elemental token. Actually, I think that might be worth something. But that being said, I will double check on that. This creature's power and toughness is equal cool number of creatures you control. Pairs up with the voice over here if you notice. So I'm going to keep that off to the side here to look at later. Going to our next pack here, guys. Oh, that one just ripped. Let's go. We got three more here. Getting to our rares. Or excuse me, our rares. Our uncommons. We have a gruel signet. Tap one, tap, add red green to your mana pool for two. We have Goblin Assault, two and a red. Enchantment, at the beginning of your upkeep, create a 1-1 one, one red Goblin Creature token with haste. Goblin Creatures attack each turn if able. And Savage Lands, enters the battlefield tap. Tap, add black, red, or green to your mana pool. Ooh, I like that one. Oh, we have an Arid Mesa. There's a good pull. I love it. Arid Mesa, land, tap, pay one life, sacrifice Arid Mesa, search your library for a mountain or plains card, put it into the battlefield, then shuffle your library. That is a great fetch card. Love that one so much. Great pull. And our ray, or excuse me, our foil is Sunhome Guild Mage, red, white. We've already gone through this one, if I'm not mistaken. But now we have a foil version of it. That's actually really cool with the fire. Really happy about that Arab Mesa pull. Really, really big pull. We have a Golem token. That's going to go over here. Oh, three more packs. I think we've already uh, done very well here, guys, with the Arab Mesa, the Camera Souls, and the Boys. Um, I have to check what the rest of them are worth, I, I don't know, but you'll see these up on my um, eBay page here if you follow the link down below, uh, and we'll go from there. So, going to our next pack here. Going to our first uncommon. Demir Signet, we got lots of Signets today. Ooh, I'm losing, losing all my commons here. Demir Signet. Artifact, one tap, add black and blue to your mana pool. It's a two-coster. Agent of Mass, three white, black, creature, human advisor. At the beginning of your upkeep, each opponent loses one life. You gain life equal to life lost this way. Two, three. That's really, really good. And two at a giant. Um, each opponent loses two life. You gain two life every turn. Just for having this one, one creature out. And if you can keep it alive, awesome. Uh, Bayloth Cage Trap. Three, green, green, instant trap. If an opponent had an artifact enter the battlefield under his or her control this turn, you may pay at one green rather than pay Bayloth Cage Trap to mana cost. Create a 4-4 four, four green beast creature token. That's actually pretty cool, especially um, it, when you talk about all these artifact decks that may be coming out with this um, with this set of cards, then this could be actually really, really cool, especially in, as I said, I love playing the booster draft, so that's where I would have a lot of fun with this. Oh, an Abrupt Decay. I love this card as well. A green and a black. Instant. Uh, abrupt Decay can't be countered by spells or abilities. Destroy target, not land permanent with card mana cost three or less. It is supremely good in so many situations. So, absolutely great card. Love it very much. 
But we have a foil Nib Mizzet Dragon. We've already gone over this, so I'm not going to go over it again. But we have a foil one right there, so I'm going to leave him right down there with him. And we're going to go into our next pack. I don't think anything else other than maybe a foil voice or a foil aired mesa would make my day. Uh, foil cavern, of course. But, um, by all means, I think we've we've done very well on this on these packs here. And here we go to our first uncommon. Familiar's Ruse. We have an instant for blue and blue. As an additional cost to cast Familiar's Ruse, uh, return a creature you control from its own uh, from excuse me. Return a creature you control to its owner's hand. Counter target spell. That is actually really really good. Um, except for the fact that it costs the, the creature return. If you have a low running, um, you know, one blue uh, like bird or something like that, that would be very very good. But otherwise, it's kind of it gets a little bit frustrating trying to return a creature when you need to counter. Opportunity for blue blue target player draws four cards. Also very good, especially in booster drafts. And we have Master Splicer. Uh, we've already gone over this one. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Um, excuse me. Golem Creatures you control. It's for three and a white. One, one. And our rare Terminus. Oh, I love this card. I remember playing so many Miracle decks with Terminus. Put all creatures on the bottom of their owner's library. It has a miracle cost of one white. Um, if you have it in your hand, it's paying for white, white. And our foil is Mudbound Torture, or Torch Runner, excuse me. What am I saying, Mudbound? Mud Button, Torch Runner. It is two and a red. Creature, Goblin Warrior. When Mud Button, uh, Torch Runner dies, it deals three damage to target creature or player. It is a 1-1. One, one. And we have a Soldier Creature Token. Alright guys, last pack here. Let's go for something really, really good. Oh, another rip. Rips are good signs, aren't they? Let's see. All right, we're gonna do this. We're gonna we're gonna take out the three. We don't need the token. Token is a goblin. Or excuse me, goblin golem. And we're just gonna go straight back to the Slesnia Signet. So as you see, it was two cost, one tap, add green and white to your mana pool. Gruel War Chant. It is a two red green enchantment. Attacking creatures control get plus one plus oh and have menace. Ooh, that's very strong. I like that card a lot. And Corpse Connoisseur, four and a black creature zombie uh, wizard. When Corpse Connoisseur enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a creature card and put that card into your graveyard. If you do, shuffle your library. Unearth for three and a black. It is a 3-3 three, three creature. Alright, finally. We're gonna save the we're gonna save the foil for last. Going to our last rare. Death Shadow for one in a black. Creature, Avatar. Death Shadow gets minus X minus X, where X is your life total. It is a 13-13. Thirteen, thirteen. That can be really, really strong um, in a game where you've let your life run down and you have a way to control, maybe like a black blue control deck. Um, and you, you let your life run down so that it's only at, you know, three or four life. Um, you know, that 13 come 13 comes in a little bit less than that. But if you can get it in as an 8, 8, 9, 9, even at a 5, 5, um, if you're, if you're at eight life, you know, it's still a strong card, especially for one black. Uh, such a good card. I like that a lot. Our right, last foil. Oh, no way, guys. We have a foil blood moon in our last pack. Oh, that's so good. All right, guys, I, I lost my breath a little bit there. Foil Blood Moon, it is a two and a red enchantment. Non-basic lands are mountains. Um, I hope you guys can see that. Oh god, the, the, the moon in the foil is so awesome. Um, that is definitely phenomenal. I think, guys, if you look at what we've got in here in our packs, uh, I couldn't have asked for any more in, in my 12 packs. Um, as I said, we've got 12 more packs in the box here for my buyers. I... Very much hope that they get just as much luck as I have. Um, this box looks like it's really producing. So that's going to be it for me today, guys. As I said, I am from Wild Main Cards and Things. Uh, please follow my channel. Check it out. Leave some comments if you like what happened here. Uh, if you think there's anything that should be changed, any way I could do this better for you guys, for your viewing pleasure, let me know. Have a great day, guys.